What is happening everybody? Jamie here, giving you an update from Maryland. In my last video, we talked about the glass uh, not passing inspection because it had a little scratch in it. Uh, and so I'm jumping back in with an update on what's going on with that and everything else to do with getting this thing inspected so I can get it on the road legally and, and uh, start pulling in some income with a full-time job is the idea here. We've got the, well, first of all, let's just talk about what was dinged on the vehicle during its inspection. Here's my report dated the 14th of July. I got a ding for the power steering belt, which is the serpentine belt, essentially. The shock absorbers on the back were not uh, behaving normally or within range. The left rear stud, we talked about that, you guys know about that, that have been watching the channel. The uh, hydraulic system, drums and discs front. So he didn't like the rotors. The rotors were past uh, the, the tolerance on uh, thickness. They were thinner than they ought to be. I won't get into all that. Anyway, the rear uh, center light was out, the brake light, and one of the tag lights is out. If it's got two lights, then they both have to be working. If it's got one light and it's working, you're all right. What else did he get me for? Arms, blades, wipers. I had wipers anyway, so that wasn't a big deal. Windshield, we scratch, we talked about that. And it looks like that's it. So since then I have gone in and through the uh, help of you guys watching the channel, uh, namely Mac and, uh, from Mac and Bravo on YouTube has been a huge help in sponsoring, get me back on the road as is uh, Craig Tarbox helped me out. And uh, some of you got other guys, Dan, I really appreciate it. You guys uh, watch the channel and help me out with stuff like this. It really makes a huge difference on getting me on the road. And so I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. But with that, I put the new rotors on the front. I needed a new brake line on this side. I, I might've missed mentioning that on the inspection sheet, but one of the brake lines was cracked. And so I got a ding on that. I had to put a new line on. So two new rotors, brake line on the back. We had two shocks replaced and the stud over on the other side and the brake pads were replaced on this. Uh, so then we have still to go the center light, which should be in today, which I got a ticket for or a warning ticket. And the light over here is out, which I have the bulbs for right now. And yes, indeed, I did get pulled over a couple of days ago when I was out putting fuel in it and getting the lights for the license plate. And the guy gave me a warning because from all he could tell, I was uh, a straight shooter that just needed a little more time. So that's where all that stuff is. I'm hoping to get the parts in, like I say today for the serpentine belt. I'm also gonna change the oil because I've got, I've got the warning, the oil needs to be changed light, not the oil pressure light, but the other one. Then I'm gonna put this uh, dash cam in, which the company VIOFO sent me this. And I think it's a rear and a front camera. I'm not sure what kind of uh, bells and whistles it has. This isn't a uh, review on it, but I will shoot a review on it. I'm gonna get this installed today. I'm just gonna feel better since I'm in a high congested, congested uh, traffic area. A traffic area with high congestion. Then I'll have uh, everything on uh, video, whatever uh, happens with the vehicle, it'll, it'll all be on video. And I'm gonna tie in the trailer. So when I'm pulling the trailer, I can see behind it in some kind of way with a monitor system, which I have yet to design. So that's what's on the horizon today. Get the serpentine belt on when it comes, get the brake light belt on when it comes, change the oil at some point today, probably after I put the belt on so I can warm up the engine and then get this uh, camera installed. So big shout out to, again, Mac from Mac and Bravo, uh, Craig Tarbox for uh, helping me out and Dan as usual and all my patrons. I can't tell you how much I appreciate, you know, you know, give five bucks a month. Heck, sometimes I think I'm on top of the world because I got a $5 bill in my pocket. So I can't tell you how much I appreciate that stuff. You guys take care. Hope you're having a good weekend so far and getting your stuff handled. 
and uh, together we can take care of all this stuff and, and we can overcome it. So don't get down on yourself if you got a big list. All right, see ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm.